Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, this time with 100% uh, more chocobos, probably. I have a couple special uh, features that I'd like to share with you all. Um, first is this. I've mentioned a certain MS Paint drawing that I was hoping to find, and I found it. It's something I did in 1998. And I printed it out, because I printed a lot of stuff out. And chat, it's a little embarrassing, but I found it. And it was in remarkably good condition. And here it is. Now, Cloud is looking like an extra Chad, because he's got his arm like kind of up a little bit um i didn't know how to like increase the resolution so i only had a couple pixels to work with for the eyes <laughs> i never noticed the bulge until chat just said it and uh i hate it i hate that you said that chat what was this drawn on this was ms paint that i then printed out later well, I'll show you a couple more. Um, okay, so here's uh, here's something from one of my my notebooks in college. So I was older here. I was like probably twenty. And again, there's gonna be a full segment where I just show my old drawings from notebooks. This is not that. So yeah, almost twenty years ago, this this was, and uh, I gave Mario. <laughs> Like some <laughs> Idaho, first of all. I gave Mario a little bit of uh I don't know. He's got some tits. Good for him. And I got one more that's very, very, very old. This one's from 1999. This is actually a notebook drawing that was cut out. So this isn't as old as the um MS Paint drawing, but Okay, now listen. Sin City wanted to know who this goblin was in the top left. I'm not 100% sure. Before we talk about the goblin, and I have a feeling chat is gonna like the goblin, I drew Cloud and his pants are way too high. In fact, his torso makes no sense. His arm disappears behind the sword. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but I drew that. I don't believe I drew the goblin. I'm pretty sure here's what happened. I'm pretty sure this was me and my friends drawing random shit, and that was supposed to be making fun of me for liking Final Fantasy VII. That's my guess. Because we all, like, all right, I had a friend who considered himself a hacker. And, like, we drew him as Hakachu, and it was Pikachu, but he was a hacker. So, that is, uh, yeah, I might have been a little into Final Fantasy VII at this time. Anyway, there you go. Oh, I have another surprise for you all, but we'll get to it in about five minutes. Again, uh, expect more drawings. Uh, they're gonna be real stupid and weird. Those are some of the better ones, though, so... Yeah. So last time we were playing, uh, we killed a bunch of Hojo's goons on the beach. So I guess you could call this like a goon beach. And as you can see, the scenery here is is a. Uh, Hope I can come back here someday, stare at the ocean, listen to the waves. Okay. Now we're gonna do some some beach related activities, and then I have another little surprise. Um, I believe the person who helped with the surprise is even here at the moment. So it should be fun. We've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners. Me and my mom, Ethalna. That's how you say that? He kidnapped us because so. she was a Cetra. A 
specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her, after all the pain and the horror he put us through, I hate him. Sometimes I like him. I imagine no, I hate him too. I'd do to him if I got the chance. The universal symbol I start of angry. Things so dark and ugly that it scares me. Then don't think. They're just thoughts. Let them be dark and ugly. You are not. Wow, you Cloud. So? That was a fucking phenomenal line. What I'm trying to say is worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I appreciate it. No need to worry about the future till it I comes. want to talk to Barrett in Red 13 too though. Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. This outfit for Good. Cloud is terrible. What have I done? Not you. That was to her, my future self. Oh man. I can't say when you'll meet, but trust me, you'll love her. Aerith. Just you wait. We talked to Red 13 last time, right? I, I like how Tifa's just drinking alone. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame her. I probably would have after that, too. After that crazy shit? Yeah. No, I, I'd probably also make myself a drink. Is this Late one to the party once again? Why do I even bother? I'm finished. No. The company can't fire me if if I fire myself first. You hear that? I quit! Hey Rufus! Take your Mako and shove it up your ass! Like this guy. This was a nice choice to set it at evening. Like after uh, all the festivities, we'll call them. The, uh,. Insane amount of minigames, followed by Hojo being insane, and a giant battle. And some other beach activities, like Baywatch-related. Hate to say it, but that girl really came through for us back there. Unlike me, I couldn't do a damn thing for those poor bastards. You tried. That's all you can do. And all that matters if you ask me. You? Trying to cheer me up? Now I've seen everything. Hope I get to bring Marlene here someday. I knew she'd love it. That is... That's very nice. Hey, you ready to leave? I guess so, right? Hello, Cloud. It is I, Chadley. How come you haven't talked to me? It has been approximately 13 minutes and 24 seconds since you have spoken to me. Your new best friend, Chadley. What about me, Cloud? It's Roche! How's that pocket lint treating you, huh? Oh, well, speaking of Roche. This ends are fun in the sun. Yeah, no fun ain't the word I'd use. So, Give it a second. Back to the hotel? Johnny's famous sea smell in. Sea smell.
good bit. Chad, I may have a little surprise. Um, after we talk to John. Oh, hey, Johnny. Nice face. Johnny, are you all right? Never felt better. You're the man of the hour. I don't know. You see, a few kind girls who saw what happened on the beach gave me the lowdown. On the hotel and Mayor Capono. Ugh, I'm a moron. How could I be so blind? Music is fantastic here. You borrowed a lot of money from him, right? Will you be able to pay it back? Tifa. Dot, dot, so, dot. the girls told Capono, keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad Shinra will kick you to the curb. And the crazy thing is, it worked. He caved. I am footloose and dead free, baby. <laughs> you did it. That's great. <laughs> Johnny, the local hero. Proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be Seven Star Resort Hotel. Now that would be something. You know you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans. Ow, 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 ow. Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, you okay there? Great. Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for a good moment. Okay, is this the moment? We'll find out. Honestly, most of Costa del Sol has been good moments. But no, I'm waiting for, for, for after the story. Nah. I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? Gotta follow some ropes. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were I always healthy, called it Coral. Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be it's, safe, you guys. Makes sense, though. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. All right. <clears throat> so, chat. If you watched the previous stream, you might know I got a little angry at Roche for winning the parade. And I said something like, I put my whole ass pussy into that. And then um, restarted the game. I rage quit. So, you know, I, I, get a, I get a tweet from someone and it says, hearing Vinny Vinesaw say, I put my whole pussy into that when losing to a character I voiced is a bucket list checkoff. I didn't even know was on my list, but here we are. And that was um, Austin Lee Matthews, you know, who voiced Roche. So we started talking a little bit, and um, he apparently uh, enjoyed my pocket lint and 13 gill line. So I have a little surprise for you. And now a gift for you. Pocket lint and 13 gill. It's all that I had. You earned it, big boy. Yeah. I put the video together, but thank you so much for doing that line. That made my entire week. That's seriously really great, uh, Austin. You know what? I like Roche 10% more. Maybe 15% more after that. But actually, the truth is, after the fight, I liked him a little bit better anyway, but, you know. The voice acting was never in question. It's just... It's the haircut. It's the haircut, chat. But yeah, that, that, I, that was awesome. That was awesome. I mean, that's a pretty... That's a character with quite a bit of screen time between uh, Remake and Rebirth. That's no small part. So imagine getting to be in the world of Final Fantasy, even if you do have a mullet. Crazy. Uh, hello? Aren't you all forgetting about someone? No, it wasn't for forget. And? It was willful. <laughs> Some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter. Didn't we do this already? Others, and I'm 
unstoppable assassin. And the rest, a benevolent and beautiful ninja. But who am I truly? A Moogle. Who ties what rose? The one and only Yuffie! Cool. <laughs> hey, hold it, you spiky-haired jerk face. Where do you think you're going? I challenge you to a duel. If I win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. However, if you manage to somehow fluke your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, wait. Seriously? I mean, uh, we don't actually have to fight. That is, unless you really want to. Oh, abort, abort! Tactical retreat! Perfect. <laughs> the hell is her deal? Hey, where do you think yep. you're going? <laughs> think this through. Are you absolutely 100% certain you don't want me around to save your butts? Just let me in already. Fine then. I know when to take a hint. You don't want me, I'll leave. And you'll never, ever see me again. That's a nice call back to the uh, original game. You gotta believe me. Please let me be one of the gang. If you really wanna, I won't stop you. Really? You won't? Freaking sweet! Freaking sweet, Cloud! Team, Yuffie. <laughs> You try anything funny, anything, I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wu Tai, and blast you back home. Yeesh. <laughs> but I hear ya. Ooh. <laughs> I guess you would have been able to see Cloud's materia and the Buster Sword. If if it wasn't that sword, the rune blade. Oh boy. Slip into your beachwear at a changing booth and enjoy a stroll around town in some appropriately summery attire. Note that you will automatically change back to your default outfit upon leaving the area around Costa del Sol. Well, that's fun. The Shinra B will ferry you between Costa del Sol and under Junon whenever you wish. Johnny also now provides a fast travel service in Costa del Sol. Speak to him and have them escort you around town. Complete the Stuck in a Rut quest to unlock fast travel between the Junon region and the Grasslands. Vinny, why do you hate the TikToker on your team? They're boosting your popularity. Wait, which one? Barrett? He does fast food reviews. He didn't like the Chitza either. Check out the best locally made exception. Got a real good selection today. So, how do you go back to, uh... So there's still a bunch of Junon stuff. I guess I could do this all another time, right? Can't do it now. No, I know, you gotta go back to the boat, so you can't just press the button. Come on, come all to the best shop in town. But for pre-record, we can do that. Okay. Two places ready. I'm sure I'll pre-record some stuff before um Tour, the Del Sol in style with our wheelies. Before I go to PAX. Where I just do a bunch of side quest stuff. Chances are we'll do some tonight because if we're going to Corel, then yeah, you get more instant fast travel after a certain point. I think Hamaguchi was saying 
that, um... Oh, you can even do your Midgar infantry outfit. Will Visions of Mana be streamed or pre-recorded? Depends on how good it is. You can do Soldier, Aerith, and Tifa as well. Mughal Yuffie. Say hi to Ben Starr at PAX East for us. I, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'll try. Someone just said, cover her in a blanket. <laughs> what? I don't know how this sword is attached to Cloud right now, but don't question it. You can't think too hard about these things. He's clenching real hard. Oh. Oh! He's speaking directly to me, Cloud. Classic swimwear. Go on a very special date to bring you and your partner closer together than ever. Uh oh. Are, are, oh god, are we doing this? go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the oh beach, God. the Chat. bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains Why forever. am I doing this quest? And the showcase is basically now. It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So... That's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date. For inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? What about Hojo? Hojo, as in that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor. That's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew that woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. We're gonna take the job, and I'm gonna piss off you half the chat, so, more than likely. We've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy at Run Wild! Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. Aw, oh, we gotta do this all of this? This is your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. Wait, do you choose who you take, or is it just locked into Aerith? You're going to absolutely love what we've cooked up for you. First, find Naomi and Fran. They'll kick It's an Aerith date. quest. They'll okay. Waiting for you at Run Wild I'm glad I don't have a choice, actually. You know what? That's good. Because that's a hard choice to make anyway. And this is one of the stranger jobs you've accepted. <laughs> Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We could just keep it simple. <laughs> Look who it is. So, are you ready to aim? I was gonna choose fire? Barrett. Do well, and you might just land a bullseye on her heart. I mean, I already did this, but oh, there's an abyssal. A bizzle bangle. Go, go! Wow! Nice one! You did 
I didn't realize accuracy was now a thing. Great job. You did it. This part will be great on PC. Wow. Probably like balanced around controller. Sweet. Nice I mean, it feels one. like it is. Great job. Damn it. That was a thousand each. Go, go. You did it. Well, I definitely didn't get the target score, but I don't really think I mind too much. Nice one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass on the, on the bangle. All right, not bad. Though I'm pretty sure I've got better aim. I know that I tried the gyro aim last time, and it, it screwed me over. Better with a sword. She never once took her eyes off her man, and the way she stared at him. Nibelheim aim. Matter. Thanks, cuties. That was just what I needed. I'll head back now that the creative juices are flowing again. You two, however, still have a date to finish. Go find Naomi at Run Wild. I like how they watch that. I wonder what the girls have next on the agenda for us. More cheap Do you think Tifa ideas? is clenching her oh, fist right now? Up. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. I'm trying to get paid. You're no fun at all today. Well, for the record, I am treating this as a date. I wish you wouldn't. Hey, it's it's a date with all of our friends following us the whole time. Believe me, I know. Right. Step right up. We've got the best selection. Someone took their sweet time, I see. Better hurry, or the game will start without you. What game? Run wild, of course. Tell me you've heard of it. It's only the hottest sport in town. Not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie booties. I mean, it's the perfect spot for a date. Are you ready to go? Okay. Wait, do I get to play? Is it can Cloud run around? All right. Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? Cutie booty! Not people. People are technically animals too, right? So it's cool. What? Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. Although I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Red 13 is apparently feline. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R, give me an E, give me a D! <laughs> I, it looks like a dog to me, but yeah. I like how we finished the Costa del Sol stuff, and we're still, um, oops. And we're still doing mini games.
Is that not correct? Oh, four. <laughs> These other balls are japes. Good, Vin. Re real good. I don't know what's happening. Oh, 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 oh. No, I got this. <laughs> Please. I was... Chat, you know what's crazy? I was only paying attention to the colors. And I accidentally got them in the right order. The first time. Without even trying. I'm, I'm not kidding. That's how, like, blind I am sometimes. Where I just, like, start not paying attention to certain aspects of life. Wow, my aim is not true. If you're wondering where uh, RimWorld is, that's tomorrow night, by the way. There's a, a new RimWorld expansion that was announced. We'll talk about it more tomorrow, but... I don't think it'll... It might be out... While I'm still playing RimWorld, it's possible. But, uh... It'll break all of my mods, and, and there's no way I'm gonna be able to... Continue the playthrough as is, if that happens. So I'm gonna have to just stay with the version um, that I have. But it seems to be some kind of, like, weird, like, eldritch, like, tentacles stuff going on. And science, as well. This happens a lot. I play a game and then, like, the thing gets an update or an announcement, like, a day later or something happens. I don't know. Weird. Got, hey, I got a bracelet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only serves to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper. I need to get back to the shop, like, yesterday. Yord is at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo. What? Oh yeah. I'm 
planning to make memories that'll last a lifetime. I want to play tag. Do I have to? There's Johnny's request. Meet up with Yorda. Oh, this is a long quest line, huh? Johnny's seems to be kind of long, too. Wonder what sort of design the girls are going to come up with. Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you want to see? Johnny, no, no, Johnny's quest line is long. I'm curious. Well, I prefer functional with foam, so durable. Maybe made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion. In case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> Okie dokie then. <laughs> Good thing I jumped in that wheelie. The best way to make tracks is on Choco Bag. There you are. Okay, I've got a great activity for you. Before that, though, I need to add your information to the system. Here, take this. It'll let you rent a chocobo whenever. That's Kaima. Take good care of her. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic Look at what she's got. The, <laughs> the outfit. Oh. But that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chilling back here. So Her shorts say Moku. Have yourselves one shell of a time. I don't know about you, but this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the chocobos. Oh. You meant the shells. Oh, we right? get to do the, some right. of the open world stuff now. Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The merc's nervous. one of many chocobo themes. Do you think on some level square it would be like unhappy that this game would be successful cuz they know they would have to make like massive fucking video games like this with 400 plus songs for, from now on until forever. Man, back in the day it was easy. Taking over. You could just make twiles of mana. Now, while they're doing visions of mana, which is um, obviously a, a lower stakes, lower budget game, which I think is good. More of that, please. Still looks good, too. The Barrett noises. <laughs> Got all the good ones in a row. I'll show you what I can do. Come on. You're done. Enough. Now you're in for it. Wait, why is Pod still in shorts? You're as good as dead. A little bit of an overkill, possibly. Like, Cloud, why did you just murder that bird so hard? Helicopter? Oh, it's like a vacation helicopter. So, the, the music here... ...is one of my favorite video game tracks. The one, um, that plays when you're going in the original. To Coral. So it looks like we get that for the whole region. Oh, it 
some smooth saxophone. Cloud, aren't we supposed to be on a date? No, hang on a minute. I gotta follow this owl. Owl, Cloud? There's no owl. I don't see anything. Will you try Yuffie or ignore her? Wait, who? Your Moogle. Oh, my Moogle! Yeah. Chadley, I, I await your phone call. Though Costa del Sol is now a renowned beach resort, it was once, once home to a string of humble fishing villages. However, with, when relations between Shinra and the Republic of Junon began to deteriorate, Shinra annexed this portion of the coast. After the war, the company designated the area for redevelopment, transforming it into the must-visit location for avid sunseekers that it is today. Costa del Sol offers vacation packages to suit any budget, allowing travelers from every corner of the globe to savor the idyllic beaches. Plans that include a trip to the Gold Saucer have proven particularly popular. We're not far from the Gold Saucer. We went from Costa del Sol minigame island, basically, to Gold Saucer even more minigames. That's a very wet noise. Ugh. Wait, is this a zip line? Is this part of a vacation package? I actually did have a beach dream. It might have been because of this game. Actually, yeah, it had to have been. I had a beach dream somewhat recently. Either that or my brain is desperately trying to escape the fucking overly dreary, windy, cold, rainy, so somewhat snowy at times weather of New York lately. It's gonna be nice the next couple days though, which is good. And um, it's also good because I'm actually gonna be having lunch with Cryberry Ned. Could you believe it? I lose to the guy fucking ten times and then I have to have lunch with him? Jeez. He enjoyed it, by the way. He, he was, uh, he was very happy to see that I lost to his character that many times. Vinny, have you heard of a band called Greta Van Fleet? They sound like Led Zeppelin, but better. Great comment to piss me off. Also, I see that you're muted. So you don't even want to hear my response. That was like a tactical troll nuke. Cloud, by analyzing the Lifespring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. This one appears to be within a derelict factory. Abandoned after the Republic's fall, the facility is in a rather poor state. Exploring old ruins. Isn't it exciting? Also, thanks Lumpy Touch for making that uh, horrific Chadley emote, where his mouth opens just a little too wide for, like, three frames. It's weird that he creates a another Chadley and then gets upset at it for existing. Do you think there's some, like, self-loathing in there?
I guess we'll see what... I mean, I played the Yuffie DLC. So it's not like I don't know how she plays, but yeah, sure. Music is beautiful. I can't get over this chocobo. I cannot get over its outfit. And its its little hat. It's a sun visor more than hat. Yeah, sorry about that. Hit the squids? Oh, like hit the skids? Oh, it's these fucking enemies. I have to remember how to use Yuffie's moves. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. While hiding in its shell, it's impervious to basic attacks. Hitting it with powerful abilities will force it to come out. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I love this battle song so much more when I'm not hearing it every fight. Remember, Punisher mode automatically counterattacks if you hold block. I remember, I just don't know when to use it sometimes, so I just don't. But I should. Wow. Summon Titan for one boulder hurl, and then that's it. I submitted a number of clips, by the way, including one of the meat reactions. I don't know if they're going to accept them yet, but they told me they would email me if, if they use any of my clips. 
dream of the childhood. I feel like David Lynch would say something like that. It was the dream of the childhood. Anyway, we interrupt our uh, monster pulping for just a moment while Cloud and Aerith go pick seashells off the ground. We should be able to find some good shells around here. But first, we clean up the trap. Those are just crabs, Cloud. They have every right to exist. Actually, no. Fuck these things. Oh, no! You get a special frog skill. Jesus. Um. Don't die, Cloud. Damn. Wait, she was unhappy about having to heal Cloud? Can we just have Frog Yuffie be the permanent party member? Nothing against Yuffie, she's just cool as a frog. I like it. It's fun. So long. Bozo. Oh, Barrett's a frog right now, too. Oh, man, you made the worst mistake of your life, crab. Gotta be careful. Ah! Someone just said the crabs kicked their ass also. This is not the shell you're looking for. Oh man! Plus three gill. You earned it, big boy! <laughs> do they just, like, find three gill with the shell, or do they sell the shell immediately?
Yo. The VA was in chat earlier while you were shooting gallery stuff. Yeah, yeah, they apparently they like Redbox, uh, Austin. And uh, yeah, they were in chat for a little bit. We were talking about uh, Roche and the line a little bit earlier, so it's pretty cool. It's weird to get to a point in my life where I now, like, actually know some voice actors that are in games I love. It's it's really cool. It's like a, a one of life's simple pleasures for me, you know? Also, Tom Shawk, who was in um, the Donkey Kong thing I played last night, was happy I showed it and happy I liked it. So that was another one. I was like, man. Oh, crap. I like to name drop, as you can tell, chat, but it, is, it does come from a genuine place, and I'm, as someone who, as you can tell, I've been a massive fan of things like Donkey Kong, and, uh, especially Final Fantasy, as you can tell by my shitty drawings. Uh, my whole life, pretty much, it's wild to get to a point where I'm somewhat involved in the industry, with a little bit of distance. Don't overdo it. Yes, it's my turn! I would love to meet Ben Starr at PAX. I don't know how I can make that happen, but that would be cool. Ninja Bazooka. Chat. I, I, I love the frog form in this game. Man, you are strong, crab. No time to celebrate. There's a whole quest about it in Junon. Oh, that'll be fun to revisit then. Again, I was all prepared that day where I only recorded like an hour of side quests. Or no, no, no. Yeah, that day. I was going to do more the next day. And I was going to finish the entirety of the Junon region. But I knew that it was going to be weird. Because I did story outside of the stream. God damn it. Which I know isn't a requirement or anything, but it's still something I, I wanted to keep. Most of the story stuff and some side quest stuff for the stream. So I just played Balatro. I had a really fucking dope run of Balatro, by the way. I had two, um... I completed the blue deck. The, the blue, uh, uh, what's it called? Stakes? And I did so, I can't- I, I didn't record it. I was playing on the Steam Deck, but chat. What's that cutout Joker that does times five damage if you have no other Jokers? Stencil. I got the plus 10 multiplier version, I guess it's holographic, of stencil. And then I got another stencil. I cloned it with a spectral uh, card. So I had plus 20, then times 5, and then times 5. It was, it was fucking nuts. And then I just kept upgrading via um, cards, like uh, planet cards. I know negatives make them even better, but uh, that was that was a, a good run for me because I struggled with black deck, the uh, the black uh, stakes for a long ass time, and like my second attempt of the blue stakes, no problem. For those of you that do not play this game, Balatro 
Don't worry about anything I've said for the past minute and a half. These are not the droids you're looking for. I'm gonna be honest, this quest is ass. Vinny, you have the best shell already? It's so teeny tiny! Apparently you know, I need three. A lot of troopers take half the shell with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one, some people say. Oh, that took a turn. Damn, you're just making that shit up, Cloud. Yeah, I am. You could return now if you want, you just miss small dialogue. Oh, really? Ooh. I think that should just about do it. Okay, ready to go? Are you sure? Really? Leaving the decision to me? What about you, Cloud? Are you sure? This is the part where you're supposed to blurt out. I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. This date's DOA otherwise. Okay, now you're just being mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I... Sorry. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tifa's listening to this whole thing. I like how... You know what I like about it? Despite... Despite... The, uh... The, the silliness of it all. They're still friends. There's no weird bickering or jealousy over over the white boy. You know what I mean? I like that. I say that as an honorary white boy. They gave me some stupid metal. They were like, go white boy, and then I just said, oh. That's the meme, isn't it? Vinny, you are 37, you are not a boy. Okay, fuck you, chat member, you're wrong, I'm 38. One second, chat. The best way to make tracks is on Choco Back. Choco Bows for Red, right here, folks. Sorry, I just had to nuke that chat member from orbit. No, I'm kidding. The best way to make tracks is on Choco Back. All passengers with reservations at the Royal Coast, find this way to leave. Oh, there you are. Find any meat shells out there? Meat oh, shells? Meat. Romantic. <gasps> Whoa. Huge, right? Dang. That thing belongs in a museum or something. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shells? Or ha! I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck. I know what to make. But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center. See you there. Oh boy. I like how Cloud is just Next treating this like another away, job. I say we ride double. Oh. Slow down the bird. Which would the make best it way to make tracks is on Choco Back. Choco I'm still steering. Right here, I like how Cloud just is nuking every opportunity here.
He's acoustic. <laughs> His acoustics are really good, I agree. You know, when we were in, uh, Nirvana... I don't know why that was funny, it just, you caught me at the right moment. Wanna shoot your shot? This swimsuit's got perfect aim. <laughs> Love might be a game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Wanna land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. Vinny, it's a really common joke on TikTok. Oh, yes, I spend most of my time on TikTok. My friends, who among you doesn't ache for that perfect swimsuit physique? You want to get ripped? You want a hot dog? Hell yeah. Then you better train with the best of the best. So I'll so join our gym. gym. And muscles you came so <laughs> muscle you maxing huh you were the inspo after all i absolutely loved it but the two of us didn't do anything inspo worthy we just had fun that's what we wanted happy couples get us inspired and fired up exactly this place is more than just a vacay spot it's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories chat and member just said sure pirate woman got me acting unwise so next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> Gar. <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Cloud? Oh, hey! You trade the city for the beach, too? What are you doing here? Relaxing, really. We're on our yearly beach retreat. And commissioning this year's new Omega Chad. These talented young women. <laughs> oh right, that reminds me. Stop by the training facility when you have a moment. We're in need of your particular skill. I'm not doing more chin-ups. Okay. Chin-ups and squats for days. Vinny, please give Tifa bikini. Trust me, bro. Chat member is most hinged. Seek the Lord Christ, chat member. All right, we already did the beach episode. We don't. We don't need. We don't need the chat getting unwise again. It was fun. It was fun, but we we have to be serious now. Sephiroth's upstairs. We need to find him. Joe. I'm really enjoying this new wave of Cotton Eye Joe remixes being like put in uh, like every other song. Man, if someone could do that with a Red Vox song, it would be so stupid. I mean, so beautiful. Oh, I didn't sit down on a bench, chat. I need to find a, uh, a bench. Thank God someone painted these yellow. No, 
It's on you. Oh. You got this! Apparently Yuffie's really good at crowd control. I haven't figured that out yet, though. She can certainly disperse a crowd. Someone just said, man, with modern video games, Coldplay fans be eating good. I, I don't even know how to decipher that sentence, chat member. Coldplay fans be eating good. Oh, cause it was all yellow! <laughs> Chat member was on like, uh, Galaxy Brain Quadrant 14, 74, 70 me meters. And I was on Galaxy Brain level 1, and I couldn't decipher that. You know what's funny? Even though I know that song, I still don't know who Cotton Eye Joe really is. I know some stuff that happened a long time ago. I don't know where he went. We don't know where we came from. There's some interesting novelty songs in the 90s. I mean, obviously Macarena comes to mind, but that's not even the weirder one. Thank you, baby Chocobo. You've saved me. Achy Breaky Heart? Was that the 90s? Hair break me hair. Achy Breaky Hair. That one? There was, yeah, Mbop. Dippy dop dop boom bop. The dippy dop dop boom bop. I guess, yeah, there was Mumbo number five, so this, the scat man was around. Did Cloud just grab his cheeks? Is Cloud smiling? That's not supposed to happen. You're, Cloud, you're not supposed to be happy and smile. Not yet, at least. Chad, I want a baby chocobo. Yeah, I think Cloud likes baby chocobos because they do have the same haircut. They shit constantly. Yeah, I mean, birds do. Cloud just teleport? I think he did, yeah. They do that. Once in a while. There's a cave up here.
I don't know if we can get up there from here. Need yellow paint. Not wrong. A second baby choke. Alexander. Ah, Alexander. Wicked nation prospered in Corel. Legend tells that it was wiped out overnight by a giant mechanical construct. A construct called Alexander. Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Where did you go? Baby Chocobo. I don't think Cloud needs to be swimming here. I mean, that is a heavy-ass sword. Let's start with that. That water <laughs> looks shallow enough. So yeah, like I say, I I'll do a couple of these things. These, these random world things on the way to uh, the next story beat and then sometime some other time one two three one two three some other time I'll do the rest of this stuff you can progress you won't be locked in for a good while good good This is Chadley music. Oh man, this place is big. It's a lot of towers. But we're just going there. I think Hamaguchi mentioned something, or someone from the team mentioned something about airship type shit, like the classic Final Fantasies uh, for part three, which makes sense. But yeah, you can wear your outfits in this whole region. Except, you know, you, you can't be a Moogle if you're Yuffie. That would be stupid.
out of service. So we've got a walk? Uh, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. <sighs> right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go! You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yeah. yeah. What's this Permission music? Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? <laughs> Permission to blow my nose, sir? Oh, so good. I didn't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? So, you can do it while you're warm in the bed. That's a piece of power. Tyrant. <laughs> oh, God. I can put up with this jerk face. <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% bad to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. <laughs> Did Barrett just run through that deer? Yeah, probably. I think Aerith might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and stop the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. Yuffie, please! Catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> Look at that run. What are you doing? <laughs> What's that I think run? I better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. I love that these vending machines have sails. It's weird. If you weighed 300 pounds of pure muscle, you'd probably struggle to run as well. No, I'm not talking about... <laughs> I'm not talking about Barrett. Increases max MP. ATB charge is good. That sounds like a good one to get. Stagger damage up. That sounds like a really good one to get. Well, this music isn't classic Final Fantasy VII. Cool though. Fecal fantasy. Don't don't say fecal fantasy in my chat ever again, please. Hang on, chat. I just banned the fecal guy. <laughs> I'm kidding. No one's getting banned. 
They're going to be like, Tyrant! Wizard's Rod. Aerith just fucking dove into that water. A magical staff once wielded by a formidable spellcaster. Conjure a magic shield that keeps enemies at bay and stops projectiles. How do you get two of these? How, how come your mom lets you have two of those, Aerith? Which mom? Uh, you know what? What's her name? The the one who raised her? That one. Elmira. Yeah, I forgot that name. I remember Ilfal no. I guess they all have some extra. Not Yuffie. Cloud, though. Weapon level up does that. Nice. Now, if I didn't already submit my clips to Square, this would have been one of those moments. Jokes aside though, it is a Breath of the Wild moment. Like anytime someone is overlooking a vast landscape, uh, Breath of the Wild invented that. Dubstep. There was no dubstep in Final Fantasy. For a game this big, though, I'm okay with there being a lot of different music as long and different styles. As long as the music is pleasurable to my ear holes, I'm fine with it. Even close to going the right- oh. It's half expecting to hear the Matrix music. The fuck? Oh. I think Aerith just said this butt's for you. <laughs> Survey Sacristal!
Sorry, just doing my part to run that green, uh, that green? Oh. Meme. Why did I say green? Into the ground. Oh, because ground and meme. I do like that a lot of these battles can be really short and not be just enemy sponge, like damage sponge enemies forever. I mean, I almost don't want to compare things to Final Fantasy 16 too much, but there was some stuff in Final Fantasy 16 that felt like it just, like some battles just went on for so long and the combat, while fun, sometimes felt more mindless than this. And with, like, very spongy enemies, it, it kind of, uh... Sure, there were, you know, scrub tier enemies too, of course, but... I think this game does it, like, the balance is just slightly better. And you have to use your brain a little bit more. And you have potential for different builds in this game, like with the Materia system. 16 was definitely... If you combine, like, the best aspects of both games, I think... You have a really good Final Fantasy on your hands. If they're looking for, you know, a way to do the series uh, triple, quadruple A going forward, that's one way to do it. I think they need to go back to Swords and Castles. Oh wait, they did that. I think they need to go back to Final Fantasy IX Chibi. Do you remember when um, Chibi was called Super Deformed? Because when I was growing up, magazines that I read called it Super Deformed, that character style. That was the Toriyama thing, actually. Yeah. It was. Nine isn't chibi? No, I know, I know. Stylized. Overly stylized. Gundam still uses that today? Oh, okay. But yeah, I remember... They called the Final Fantasy VII characters super deformed. <laughs> Those deer are just gone. I don't know who they is, maybe like Game Pro or something, but yeah. Were your Dragon's Dogma 2 characters also super deformed? <sighs> Don't make me say it, chat member. But you know the answer. less defense than all the other ones, but it's, it's not terrible. just want to get to level 6 so I can make a Mist High Potion. Try to make everything at least once to maximize... Oh, okay, there you go. That seems really good.
Damn. Oh, yeah, we're getting, like, massive levels. Still need a lot of ingredients for some of the better stuff, but... It does give you a reason to, like, look around and pick up stuff and just feel like you're always... That, that's a, a very... That's a very good video game trick. It's to make the world seem a little bit more alive. Make stuff like The Witcher or, um, you know, the, the open world Zeldas. Just just put shit everywhere. Even if it doesn't do much. Just just little tiny, tiny stabs of dopamine directly into your cock vein. Really, really useful. It just helps flesh out the world a little bit. But if you milk it too much, it loses its effect. So you need to also space it out. You know what's sad? Is that someone from Square might be watching this right now. I think I might be the top Final Fantasy VII Rebirth streamer on Twitch at the moment. And they're gonna, like, watch that. And they were like, oh, we were gonna invite Vinny to the thing. But then he said something real weird. <laughs> and then we decided against it. Do it! Let's go! With me! Not bad. That's why I didn't get my, uh, chocobo stuff pillow for, uh, any potential future hemorrhoids. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind, chat. <laughs> this is vile. Where is this? This is like... Th wherever this stuff is coming from, it's coming from the same place that Mitch Mr. Roger came from. Which is to say, I have no idea where. Some, like, deep-rooted demon rot. Did they... Did they paint themselves? Is that Barrett as sad and Tifa as angry? Yuffie painted them. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. That's at least diegetic. It's nice that she had yellow spray paint, though, to fit the, you know... To fit the, the vibe. I'm just here looking for treasure. What if I don't want to fight these mushrooms? What if I want them to live? Considering I haven't done any, very much of the open world stuff in this region, I do wonder if some of the fights coming up are going to be a little more difficult. Oh yeah, that's a... What, what's that called, chat? What's, is it, it's a knife. It's a throwing knife of some kind, right? Is it a kunai? Yeah. You still holding up okay? Yeah, I'm feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like... It's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? 
from the mountain air. She is losing oxygen as we speak, and her, like, there's lactic acid in all of her muscles. Let's go! That's brilliant. Um, oh, I guess they're that way. How was I gonna say? Why does Captain Kirk climb the mountain? To make love to the mountain. You were zooted too. Oh yeah, I did say some weird stuff. There was some zoot. I think the mountain zooted me as well, yeah. Do you know what a zoot suit is, chat? It's like a thing in the 60s. It's kind of suit. The Who wrote a song about it. Some other people wrote songs about zoot suits. That's one of those things every now and then, like, o over my, uh... My listening. There's a song called Zoot Suit, and I look up when it was written, and it was like the 60s. Or the early 70s. Why are so many people writing songs about zoot suits? Because they were badass. I need to find a... I don't know what a zoot suit looks like just from the word. I, I've almost certainly seen it before, but... Let's not get ahead of us. Just a big ass suit. Do people listen? I didn't watch very much of the Oscars. I saw John Cena hang dong. I saw um, Pacino was like, "My eyes see Oppenheimer." I want to go home. I saw that. I saw like three clips. But why are people not wearing zoot suits to the Oscars? They are stupid. I see. There's a chat member that seems to really like a zoot suit. The cyberpunk soundtrack is great. You know what? This does sound like cyberpunk 2077 music. A little bit. To be fair, uh, I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. You greet each other proper. To be fair, Midgar is very cyberpunk. Uh, this is not. I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. You greet each other it's proper. Well, I'll be finally, folks who've got some manners. I don't get it. Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. Even try calling out to a few sick-looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. <sighs> I guess these days never learned to greet each other or something. That's a good chat. Ran into a sprightly little lady, too. Couldn't even say hello. I guess it just goes to show you there's people up here once in a while. I don't know how he's handling those things, though. Like, good on him if he knows how to make it past them, but... Oh, 
reference to OG Final Fantasy VII? I don't remember. There was a guy in the original on the way up to Coral. Corel. Ice. And physical attacks from the rear. God damn. We're done here. Fred, what's happening to you? Oh, Cloud is poison. Oh no, we don't want poison Cloud. Let's switch it up. Here goes. Ain't dead yet. This one's for you. Can you take over for me? Whoa, that music. What mental. Shit. Yeah, that's not good. Um, boy, we are getting poisoned and being very damaged. Chill, freeze, Gotham will pay for the bat and beard. You're done. No more fighting. Nice. I like how oh I saw that clip too of Arnold and Danny DeVito reprising their role as Batman villains on, and shitting on Michael Keaton. I do wonder, I do wonder if Beetlejuice 2 is going to actually suck, because Michael Keaton said it was going to be good. And we all know that actors in films always say that their movies, they're always very honest about the quality of their films. Apparently that's not true, only Dakota Johnson for Madame Web. And even then the studios were like apparently pissed that she was being overly honest about how, <laughs> how bad the movie was. Madame Web. One day I'm gonna have to watch that movie as like a, a bad movie night kind of thing. And just see if it delivers, because I, I heard it delivers. I still haven't seen Neil Breen's new film, Cade, The Tortured Crossing, or whatever the fuck it's called, but I heard it's not as good as his other ones. Still entertaining. Literally all filmed against a green screen. Which is... Eh. None of his work is good. Wait, you're telling me Neil Breen doesn't do good work? Oh, man. What have I been watching for the past ten years? But he apparently... Some are saying that he's, he's semi-self-aware. Which, as we all know from Tommy Wiseau, is the death of... Um, a good bad movie. I don't know how true that is. I'm gonna have to watch the movie myself, but. We'll have to see. Get 
Was it supposed to do that? Uh, it looks like it was just dropped off. Maybe. Nice drawing, Yuffie. Do you think those enemies use a moisture missile to attack? It's yeah, a heat seeking moisture missile, definitely. Chad, I can't wait to get to the gold saucer. It's like a problem. It's like I'm having a problem right now containing my excitement for the gold saucer. You, you be a very long ways away from it. The, yeah, I mean, as much as I'm enjoying this, and I, I obviously have been playing it a lot, and I kind of love it in a lot of ways, the um, the plot stretch, the instretchening of the game's plot has been uh, driving me a little crazy at times, knowing that there are so many things I want to see. And I haven't even been doing, like, the side quests. Sure, we did a bunch in um, Costa del Sol, but I didn't even, like, do very much of the open-world stuff there. I do think that others... I've seen people really complain about the, uh... the embiggening of the... of, of the, the pacing of the game. And I... fair enough, but... There's another part of me that's already thinking to myself, boy, I kind of don't want this to end. But it's amazing how far humor and, like, good characters go. Like, the chemistry of these characters and how they're written and the humor and the, the delivery of the, the fucking lines. Like, all that stuff really, really helps. And just keeps you going. Someone said, it depends, I got a lot to play, so it's double-edged sword. Yeah, I don't always feel this way. I, I gotta be honest, some games that I start that end up being really long feel like a chore. And this has a, a couple times for sure. But I think it's maybe the dream of the childhood is helping. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2 coming out soon. It's like, man, could you delay that like another month, please? Because I'm, I'm like really interested in checking it out. I don't- I mean, not for you. For me. Come delay on. it for me. You go. Not for you, chat. Again? Well, look who it is. <clears throat> you here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon. And then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here... Uh oh. We'd love to stay and chat, but Rude and I are 
we're busy people. She'll be more than happy to keep you company, though. What games do you think she has on her phone? She's definitely got TikTok on there, for sure. No doubt. Now play nice. Shit, birds. She's... <laughs> what? She's got a potty mouth. I'm assuming this is going to be lightning. Lightning and wind. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Oh! Oh, it can do that? Okay. Cloud likes to say the name of one of my songs a lot. Red 13 is not doing a good uh, job in this fight. I'm sorry, boy. I'm sure there's some ranged options for Red 13. I haven't figured out what they are yet. Go for it, guys. Oh, no. Sorry, Aaron. Oh, my God. Not good. Still up for it. Why would I walk into the poop? Trying here, chat. I think I got I got something going on here. Cloud's doing the thing again. It's weird. He's kingdom hearting again. Yes, Red 13. Very nice. This butt's for you. Did she just make a James Bondian type joke? Nice move.
What the fuck was I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't get it! Red 13, why are you not attacking more, buddy? Pal, old oh buddy, old oh pal, what's going on here? move for the summon. We got Shiva. We've got Titan. Uh. And we've got Ifrit. Hmm. I want to do another assess. I don't know. I thought it might be different. It wasn't different. I was wrong. Touchpad to reread. Yep, I forgot about that too. That's cool. Sorry, I'm a little bit like jazzed up right now. That's not good for Cloud. Yeah, take all the damage! Yeah, get, uh, get shot in the face! Yeah. Save my limit break on Cloud for a little bit. Ooh. Now we use the limit break. Not over yet, Snake. We're done. The symbol next to elemental spells means it's stronger. Oh. Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. How's that mountain air treating you, Aerith? A lightheaded? Roofer. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it Hate would him. seem so. 
They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas, organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, <laughs> Professor, will soon be granted. D dude's like, we'll like a cartoon. We want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. What about, um... Who's that other dude in the middle there? Who's that guy? Mr. President, please. What is this really about? I know who that guy is. It's Wu John Wick is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President, these guys are sick. Yes. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact Whoa. remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. He didn't have and belts on his pants. Age, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? Asking the real questions, Rufus. Shinra must change. We must break new ground. Well, yeah, Go Reeve stronger, obviously smarter, didn't like that. Observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your royal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. Gotta put your whole ass Shin Rusty into that shit. And, you know, you're doing a meeting like that. I forgot about this entirely. Yeah? Let me in. Th this is just like a distant memory at this point. Damn, okay. Me? Um, Elmira? Zach, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. Oh boy. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. 
I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. I thought she was dead. Huh. Guess not. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. I got better. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? No, I'm not disappointed. Yeah. I'm not disappointed. It's just in in the uh, into the Zack verse. I wasn't sure if if uh, Aerith because uh... she dropped that. Yes, I know. That one has its stuff in it still, but the one in Prime Timeline Aerith! does not. That's very okay? interesting. You're okay, right, Aerith? There's some part of me that's relieved that this is all happening in an alternate, like, timeline and wasn't just, like, Zack being alive. Maybe they had that hey, plan from the start, Mira. but I wasn't sure yes. that was going to go in that direction. What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Just get a just a brief moment. Just a Aerith. brief moment. I'm fine with that. Hey, which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. I got better. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Yeah. Really looking forward to that conversation. Yeah. Did they give me my health back? No, they didn't. That wasn't on purpose? Uh, yeah. That was on purpose. I was on purpose? I'm trying to think of, like, how much I remember of the exact progression of how this part plays out until the gold saucer. And it's been, like I said, it's been like seven, eight years or more since I played seven. But I think it... There's a reactor. There's a scorpion. There's Corel.
You okay? Yep. Really worked up a sweat. That's Tifa so, saying. Uh, recon go. All clear. No nasty surprises and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. Yeah, we ran into the Turks and fought some, like, weird... It looked like a top. You know, like a top, like a Beyblade. We fought that, and Elena was there, and she called us shitbirds. Barrett's like, I don't believe you. Yeah, like, you didn't see the helicopter? You were right there. Oh, shit, there it is, yeah. That's it. it this is the Chernobyl of the Final Fantasy VII universe. Last They're pool. In good company. Yeah. Given that. Hmm? How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands, and when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted to cease fire. <laughs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. The rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Uh, this is extended universe Final Fantasy, I guess. Lodbrock! His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but, why the interim? Because, once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Man, the Foley artists must have been Which busy with this game. Doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? Just gonna stand there? Let's get going! Knock some rubble around. Don't mind me. Yeah. Well, Cloud's legs are very strong. He can just, like, push over steel girders, no problem. Was this place this fucked up? In the original? I kind of don't remember it being. Yeah. Was it all sunk like this, in, in like the Materia Juice, the Forbidden Baja Blast? Someone said, I bet it tastes so good. You get the memories of like... 150,000 people if you take a sip of that. And then you, you know, go on a holy war against, you know, across the whole galaxy against all the houses of, you know, the great houses and everything. Down there is Mako? Yep. Then, 
It's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. Oh, I'm going to be so powerful, it's scary. I don't think it works like that. Holy shit. Is, is that a new weapon? What the hell was that thing? A weapon? Huh? Tutelary creatures said only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see huh. what was inside it? It's huge material. That had to have been the biggest freaking material ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a material that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. Huh? Go keep moving. Hey! Not cool! Goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon. Yuffie, this sounds like a really bad idea. I think Yuffie would make a good like Shinra executive. Wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning, Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget. What song is that? Shinra is not the only problem. Doo -doo -doo. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. Okay. He is, and talking won't stop him. I heard a number of different original uh, game themes kind of woven into this score. I love it. Did they even use the um, Advent Children theme that Uematsu came back for? What was the name of that song? There's a couple good ones. Not yet. Oh, later? Okay, because I heard like a briefest of maybe references to it. Barrett, this is just like when we first uh, bombed that first reactor. Remember that? We were in the elevator and I told you to s seek help, get get help. Man, those were good times. <sighs> Boy, this is weird. It was just like a silent and semi-awkward elevator ride together. And also, yes, Yuffie wants the Materia. She's a Materia hunter. I will say that it's in her character to be enthusiastic about a giant piece of Materia. Of course it is. But, yeah, she, that's very Shinra-esque to be like, I want that giant Materia. But she's also, she's young, you know, she still has to grow. Her character arc hasn't really started yet. Someone said she's a dumbass and it's great. Others feel like she's a dumbass and it's not great. I'm somewhere in the middle with Yuffie. I, I listen, I joke around. I don't really hate her. She's part of the game's thing. Whatever that thing is. Ugh, dead end. 
For now. Can't cross till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there. At the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. He loves it. Nah, they love it. We're working on it. Just wait a minute. Hey! Cloud! Come on. Shit. Perhaps the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <laughs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. Your mind and helmets and follow me. Wait, Yuffie's leading this party? This was always one of the uh the minecart area of, of uh the game wherever we you know, the, the path to Corel is always uh one of my favorites because it's just pretty. There's like a nice area to look at. And the music, which they're doing Yuffie's theme kind of more. To be fair though, they did play the music I like earlier in the open world segment. But yeah, I just love that whole thing. It's really well done. Very memorable. This is a whole ass dungeon, so it's a good stopping point. I believe you, but... I also don't feel like stopping right this moment. I want to play at least another half hour. I'll do a little bit of it at least. But uh, yeah, I'll probably end up... My guess is this. I'll play this again in the evening, or at night rather, during the week. And, uh, hopefully we'll get to a point where I can do open world stuff. And then I'll do a bunch of that. I have a lot of video, I, you know, videos planned for while I'm at PAX. Not a ton, but, like, at least three. And some, you know... Like the Brazilian snacks, I still need to edit that. Make way. It shouldn't be too much of a hassle to edit, though. I have another uh, interesting video, and uh, obviously some random gameplay of other other games. So there's going to be some uploads while I'm gone. You might want to take the assess materia from Cloud before you go in. Do I not have assess materia? I thought Yuffie had assess. She's got one. Uh, which way? Up uh, with that thing. <laughs> We're gonna have to power it on first. The generator's just across the way. Gotta use that grappling hook. Shouldn't be a problem for you, right? <laughs> None at all. I 
L2? Alright, Yuffie's got a grappling hook now. <laughs> One step closer to Final Fantasy VII becoming Uncharted. I don't even know if Nathan Drake had a grappling hook. He did. Oh. So I was accidentally right. Um, if I do the Twin Viper, I lose out on Materia for a little bit. Let's just get it now. That water wheel just brought me back to the uh, Indica game. And how fucking weird that demo was. I can't say I'm like... I'm not sure I'm going to actually stream the game when it comes out, but it was so fucking weird it left an impression. So that definitely counts for something. Someone said they prefer a hybrid game. Do you like the Acapulco Gold? Do you like the Strawberry Kush? Which, which one do you like? Do you like the Mississippi Manheimer? Do you like the Cleveland Steamer? Do you like the Chesapeake Chisler? Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Little, little late using that. That's okay. No one would ever name weed after Maryland. The Maryland... Hmm. Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but the Cleveland Steamer wasn't actually weed, Jeff. You knew that, though. <laughs> Maybe You know what? That's probably not true. Someone somewhere has named their weed Cleveland Steamer. Guaranteed. You've been smoking the bad shit. Um, the Maryland... Maryland Joanna? Ah, uh, you can't... No! Maryland Orange? Doesn't have a good meter to it. It can be done. I know it can be done. It's just not being done right now. The Maryland Monroe. Okay. Maryland Mayhem. Well, Cleveland Steamer is good, but that doesn't have the same letters in the beginning, you know? So you can you can do that without having two words of the same letter. Not bad, but not the, best. the Maryland Melpert. I don't know what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like I'm not making any sense, and I'm probably not, so just ignore me. Savage Dagger. Launch an attack even while immobilized or reeling from damage. Can use while airborne. Proficiency finish off an enemy.
You know that meme where it's like, is this... whatever? Sometimes when I think about the, um, the stuff that we're doing in this game to get from one area to the next, I, I become that meme. Yeah, the butterfly one. And I think, is this bloat? The Maryland bloat. It's padding, but I don't mind it, says a chat member. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Let's let's see how much of this dungeon there actually is. But it's cool we get a remix of Yuffie's theme. You don't get bored. At the very least, your your ears always have something nice to listen to. Someone to unlock this thing from the control unit upstairs. Can you? Uh, if I have to. There's a part of me that's like, oh boy, I don't want to fuck up that grapple point. What if I, what if I perish? And then I realize something. This game's not going to do that. The game will not allow Yuffie to perish. Damn it. Yeah, it's not Sekiro, or anything like that. It's not even 30 rope. And that's, that's the worst joke of the night, easily. Where, where is this other, is there another grapple point I'm missing? Oh, I'm just the wrong way entirely. felt like that had to be the area. Oh, uh, wait, is it? Uh, I don't know. It's not, there's not enough yellow. Shit. I'm looking up, chat. I'm looking up. Ah, oh, that's what I was seeing. Yes, that is the, the thing. It's optional. Use the grappling hook to scale a wall? Yellow splat on rock? I see something, I see something. Hang on. Chat, the yellow wasn't enough. I needed an in-game message, and even then, there was a chance I would have just stopped playing the game and abandoned it forever, at this exact moment. I've heard many a tale of people abandoning various games that I'm into. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't heal you! No, you bitch! It's a tough fucking fight spot to see what's going on.
but yeah, I've, I've heard many a tale over the years of like, oh, I played that game, I got like this far in, and then one puzzle stumped me and then I never played it again. You know what? That happened to me a couple times too. What games? Don't know. I know it's happened. There's no way it hasn't. I mean, I would... I would say Banjo-Tooie, but that... I don't know if that's the same reason. There might be a different reason I stopped playing Banjo-Tooie. Not that it was like a puzzle or anything, but I think it was just... I don't know. Something happened halfway through that game, and I was just like, yeah, I'm good. Get this shit out! No, 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 don't get wrecked yet. Now get wrecked. Got it. Someone said I got stuck like that the last hour Ocarina of Time when I was younger. It does happen a lot. I'm sure it's happened to me a whole lot more. There is, oh, oh, Final Fantasy IV. On the moon, there is this um, series of fights that was happening. And I was just getting my ass kicked and my party wiped constantly. And I stopped playing. I don't remember which enemies, I don't remember how it went down, but something happened, I didn't figure it out. I didn't look up the answer for some reason, on like, how do I beat this fight? And I got that far, and I never finished it. And I regret that. Yeah, the DS version. We Majora's Mask? Yeah, my friend Bill was like... He told me he, he just can't do Majora's Mask. He just does not... It doesn't click with him. It just does not work for him. I think he told me he started that game like three or four times. And then he just... This is Red Fox Bill, by the way. Yeah, he just started the game, got to the first dungeon, did some of the first dungeon, or did all of it, and then he just lost interest. And I know people that either love that game, as if it is their favorite game of all time, or their favorite Zelda game, at least, or people that just don't want to even engage with it. I was, like, really into it when it came out. It didn't... It didn't really bother me. In fact, I loved it. But it did, you know, stress me out on a couple of occasions. And I can see why someone who's more used to, like, Ocarina of Time might be somewhat disappointed by it. Yeah, weapon abilities are fairly easy to master in this game. And I am not complaining. So, hang on a second, chat. I mentioned Majora's Mask, so I should get the thing. Hang on, let me get the thing. When I was going through a bunch of old stuff, I will take a picture of this at some point, but I have an editorial supplement to Electronic Gaming Monthly from the, edit the editors of Expert Gamer. I have The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Strategy Guide. 
And it's just a small strategy guide that covers but the spider houses, I can a valley, um, stone tower, the final the whole game. Including every heart location. It's 16 pages. It's small ish. And it's very detailed, and there's maps and everything, and it's in perfect condition. So I'm kind of shocked I found this. I mean, I don't know why some of this stuff was kept. You know what? I know why some of this stuff was kept. Because, alright. My parents had a bad habit of throwing out a lot of my stuff. And I would throw a shit fit. <laughs> because some of it was like stuff that was valuable. Or would have been. Like, I'm convinced I had Pokemon cards that were thrown out. I don't know if that's true. But... Oh. It, it also, a lot of my old game boxes, like the Chrono Trigger box, instruction manuals, gone. Um, I'm sure there was more stuff, and some of it was just toys I liked that were just chucked. So, obviously, that's like a different story entirely. It's like, is that going to be worth anything? No, I just like it. <laughs> so, I would complain... Um, I'm almost positive a box was thrown out with a game in it just to avoid clutter and that might have been the moment that I, I flipped and was like no! No! So I think that was a Game Boy game because I remember there was a Game Boy game that went missing and I don't know which one it was but something something really like pissed me off so, no, I was, I was like, please do not throw my stuff out. Please do not throw my boxes out. Um, and long story short, they stopped doing that. And I think they kept everything. So that's my story. That's why I think I have so much of this crap. I say everything, but it's not quite like everything. But it's, it's a lot of stuff. One of my games, Kirby's Dreamland, one of my uh, friends came over and uh, stole it. I think I've told that story a couple times, but yeah, he, he stole my uh, Kirby's Dreamland. Just straight up pocketed it, didn't tell me. And then later, his mom found it in his room. <laughs> that was the last of our friendship, generally. Uh, that wasn't good. That was bad. I saw him a couple, uh, a year ago, actually. And I punched him square in the jaw. No, I just, I, you know, see how he was doing. He was an alright dude. He just, he was a kid. He was a fucking kid and probably didn't really think in anything of it. I don't know. I mean, I got it back at least. Whatever my other game was that went missing, I'll remember it at some point. I'll check the Funko Land circular I showed you all earlier. It's probably in there somewhere. Hell yeah. But, uh, yeah, um, so yeah, I found a lot of stuff, and there's more stuff, too, that I could go through at some point. I've been feeling nostalgic about some stuff lately. Like I said, it's not like, um, I don't live in the past. I'm very happy to continue, even with my, like, my music, which is the thing I put my, you know, my effort and creativity into. I like the new stuff more than the old stuff, always. Which, maybe to a fault, and that's something I'm kind of working on, but... I, uh, I like to live now and not think too much about, like, oh, 
you know, wish I could go back. Like, you can't. So you make good new memories. But there is something remarkable about finding your old Final Fantasy VII Cloud MS Paint art from 1998. I mean, when I saw this, I was like, that is so much shittier than I thought it was in my head. I was convinced that this fucking thing was a masterpiece, and it's just your baby Final Fantasy VII v edition. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool. I was there. Yeah, I was a kid. It, but uh, it was it was fun to find it, and I'm so happy I did because I was I was talking about it on stream. And I was... I didn't find it the first time, I found it the second time, and I was very happy about that. And as a result of uh, finding some of this stuff, I managed... I, I texted one of my old friends from uh, grammar school. And we've been chatting about, like, some memories and stuff. So that's been nice. Not Mike. Yeah, I didn't go to school with Mike that early. Mike uh, is a college friend, which is still 20 years, which is insane. But... No, the oldest friend that I see on a regular basis is Bill, who uh, is in Red Vox. He's a uh, high school buddy. But we, we only honestly really became close friends after high school. And we didn't go to the same college. So it's, it's him. Uh, and then... A couple people from, like the person I've been texting, I knew since I was five. So that's crazy shit. That's that's a very 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 long time. Yeah. What about Impractical Jokers? Didn't you used to be the fifth Joker? <laughs> I was Pete Best. I knew um I know Jay who uh, who wrote for the Impractical Jokers and Joe, so and Casey, so I know some of the writers. And I also know, um, Sal Volcano. We, we talked a couple times. So we weren't exactly like best buds, but we, we spoke. And when he was doing stuff with, uh, for Jay's show. At, uh, Public Access. We, we talked about a lot of stuff. That was before Impractical Jokers. That was, um, yeah, that was a completely different... That was a completely different time. Melvin, brother of the Joker. Sal is the guy who stole Kirby from Vinny. That son of a bitch. Well, there's also the James Bond watch. Which another friend stole from me. <laughs> I had the Golden Eye watch that James Bond wears to go into the pause menu, and it was, like, a valued possession of mine. And <laughs> I had a couple scummy friends. I had good friends, too, mostly, but... I still can't prove that he stole the watch, but it was taken, and then when, when spoken to about it, it appeared under um, a piece of, of shrubbery, we'll call it, the next morning. So, yeah. I think I still have the original version of that watch. I don't think it works anymore, but I, I'm pretty sure I still have it somewhere. I did get it back, and a chat member actually sent me a brand new version of that watch last year, and I have it in my hand right now. And it's ticking, and it's Glorious. Can you hear it? Probably can't hear it. So yes, I have my James Bond 007 GoldenEye watch. Um, I have my this one and the original, and it's got body armor and health. Vinny, are you a hoarder? Yesn't.
No, because I don't live... Um, there... I've seen... I've seen how some other streamers live. <laughs> you know, like cockroaches and stuff. And I will tell you that I keep my stuff generally pretty tidy. But, you know, that's a whole different story. Chad, is this the way? I'm, so, I'm sorry to ask while I'm talking about a bunch of random shit. Is, is this the way back to the beginning, or...? Do you keep food by your computer? No. You gotta go up. I don't know where that is. I see the thing there. I hit a dead end before, though. So, I mean, obviously, if I'm talking about random shit, I'm not paying as much attention to the game. Sorry about that. But, let's see. Stairs to the left. This isn't up. But it's new. Stupidly easy to master abilities, like almost like laughably so. But I kind of prefer it this way. It's it's nice. It gives you more weapon options. It's it's like um, a quicker version of Final Fantasy IX. Now it's time for Windstorm. Hey, did you see me in action? Do you think the Final Fantasy IX remake is next? I don't know, it's it's kind of conjecture and rumor and there's some some report I read that it restarted development or something, or I don't know, something got delayed if it was real, but I, no one knows if it's real, so I, I'm not even thinking about it as if it's a real thing. It's weird though, because I don't think Final Fantasy IX sold particularly well compared to even 8 or like 6. Uh, critically, I, most people would agree with me, I think, that Final Fantasy IX is, like, one of the best games ever made, maybe. Not most people, but, you know, there's there's people that, uh... It got a, a really good critical reception. I know a lot of people that are RPG fans that mention it in, like, the sentences with, you know, the other best ones ever. It just has this very good reputation. And every time I've replayed it, it's held up so fucking great. Hmm. Damn, Barrett, look at your new gun. <laughs> Shit. Someone said, I hate it, now what? I don't know, live with that rot in your stomach. Let it consume you. And then you end up looking like, um... Willy Wonka. <laughs> but the one from Glasgow. You got this? You even have to ask? What is that? That Willy Wonka, 
and uh, Gordon Ramsay have that in common. What is that? Oh God! <gasps> ah, there we go. Oh boy. That would have been my stuck puzzle. That would have led me to abandon this game for 10 years. Chad, I'm sorry, it has to be done. Yuffie's gotta go in the grinder. I remembered nothing of the Good Burger film, the original, except, or you're going in the grinder. That's all I remember. And, and the title of the film, as well, correct. How was Good Burger 2? Was that a worthy successor to the Good Burger legacy? Alright, was it better than Space Jam 2? That's my question. It's better than Space Jam 2? So you're saying I should see this film. Got it. Wow, that was immediate. Oh, oh, no, no, that was a material level up, never mind. Tifa is so good when you use the moves. The good moves. Tifa's so cute. Shuriken activated switches. It's a good thing this is a fantasy of sorts, because people's knees would be like, they would look like the meat worm. They would look like my cursed character I made tonight.
compressed spines and all. Oh, I forgot to show the permanent spine damage Rhythm Heaven remix. I'll show it eventually. Well, if I don't show it tonight, remind me that it exists on a future occasion, just in case I forget, but it's... I, I'll probably remember for a Sunday stream or something. Oh man, a bomb. No. This seems bad. Just trying to do this with just Yuffie. No, man. That, that was good. You should probably figure out how Yuffie's big element thing works, dude. Uh, th there's more? Jutsu. I thought I did some of it. Okay, I'll have to remember how to do that. They need to be activated while in the ninjutsu stance. Wait a minute. Nope, you're on your own, folks. It's it's late. <laughs> I don't have I don't have it in me. Oh uh, god. What well, yeah, what if I end up killing that bird and it turns out that was their mother? That's bad.
I used up all my save slots. Not the stagger. Well, we'll do it next time, chat. Thank you for watching. Uh, this has uh, been a lot of fun, as usual. And uh, thanks for stopping by for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go into a review of it again, but there's some filler. But still a very enjoyable experience overall. I would expect another stream of this before I end up doing any uh, side quest stuff. So we'll just keep working on that tomorrow, RimWorld. And I don't know when I'm going to show those drawings, but soon. And uh, also, this week, maybe Spalton. I'm going to consider some Splatoon. So yeah, stop by. And uh, watch more streams if you want. Thank you everybody that has uh, subbed or not. Thanks for watching. Thank you mods. Thank you everybody that's contributed to the stream in some way. And uh, also thank you Roche for this. And now a gift for you. Pocket lint and 13 gill. It's all that I had. You earned it, big boy! Good night. <laughs>